Hello and welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. So I just want to do a quick check of our confidant list before we start because, you know, for one, we don't spend enough time in this menu and two, I just want to double check who we still have left because, I mean, there's a lot of maxes in here. Uh, so we have the weapons dealer, which we can almost definitely get up to full because he only has two ranks left. I mean, depending on if he's actually available, but we have seven days. If he's available two of those days, it should be possible if we get the right things. It like that's a hundred percent doable. Also, he's only he's one of the few people we have at night left. Uh, Kawakami, I believe, I've been told is locked because you need to be in school to do like to advance the next part somehow. But there there is some way of unlocking it in the final um, like term. So we'll find out what that means. Gamer, uh, obviously we're not getting before the end of the normal P5 content. I've been told that the 25th of December is end of P5, start of P5 Royale, or Royal, so that's all good. Hifumi, we, again, should be able to get maxed. We have enough days, so if she's available, she's available, so yeah. So really, it's skilled day gamer during the day, and then we're just pushing for weapons dealer and Hifumi at night. In fact, Given that Kawakami's not available, well, Kawakami's not available during the day anyway, if the gamer's available five out of our seven days, we can get the gamer to max, right? Assuming that there isn't a uh, Mementos trip, but even with the Mementos trip, in theory, it's still possible with a day to spare. Although, he would have to be available today. Is he available today? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> So we, we can't have the day to spare. So nobody is available today. All right, in which case, what do I want to do? It's sunny. I think what we want to do is we want to go to the shrine and we want to push up Why? Hmm. Because we don't have a level up. What do you want to do? Yeah. Uh, hey, hey. And we already did we already did a thing for Hifumi. I will spend a thousand oh. yen on this. Do I get to choose? Yeah, I can't think about any of these people. Impossible to think about them. <laughs> they they they're, they're no longer thinkable. All right, uh, I will think about Hawaii. Fantastic. I can see, uh, I can see Awai's face clearly in my mind. I feel like her bond has grown deeper. It only gives you two points. Hey, hey, hey! Who is your prayer about? Uh, maybe I shouldn't ask. Uh, it won't work if you tell someone. Anyway, let's head home. And ah, you're back. Yeah. Oh, text message. Elections are this weekend. These goddamn election cars are, t are, are so loud too. They need to stop making me panic, damn it. This seems to be more like a big party than an election. Yeah, one that's just for Shido. His followers are essentially part of a cult at this point. Hmm, I think I've finally figured out what seems off lately. What do you mean? News stories outside of Shido have dropped off the face of the map far too quickly. It's all people want to talk about. It's like they aren't interested in anything else. Is he brainwashing them? Mind control. Hmm, that does seem possible under these circumstances. I suppose if they had someone in mementos, it's in theory possible? If people stop thinking for themselves, they'll be free from both anxiety and responsibility. And Shido is the perfect thing to put their trust in. All that's left is, is to believe that he can bring them happiness, and then they're all set. I can't believe this. Either way, we have to do everything we can. Brainwashing. I guess that's one way to look at it. Let's show people the truth behind all of this. Okay. Uh, home shopping? We did home shopping, didn't we? Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Going crazy. Evening, you ever come back to work? I see. Nope. Remember how I said I was going to give you a hard time? Well, I got a job for you. Ooh. So that's a level up. That's what I'm after. It's a level up. Ifumi, not available. I know it's a Sunday. 
and I know that we would very, very, very much like to go to the jazz club on a Sunday. However, Hawaii happens to be available today. So, I mean, what can what you do? do? All right, affinity. Let's work this out. I believe we have a level up with Shinya. We know we have a level up with Hawaii. We know we have a level up with Hifumi. That doesn't help me at all. I guess I'm going to push Shinya. The reason... Wait. Let, huh? Let's back out here. What shall we do? Yeah, back out. I I know that it is. I just want to double check. We have to level up. Okay. I'm going to push Shinya because Shinya has the most uh. levels. And assuming that the points overflow to the next step. What shall we like, do? assuming that you can get enough... Say it's at level 5, like it is. We could get enough points to have already passed level 7 before we've done level 6. Like, I think that we should level up Shinya. If it maxes out anyway, in theory, everybody is already maxed, so it doesn't matter. And all we're, all we're losing is 5,000 yen. If not, this is helping us push towards the person who needs the most points overall. Go. That's my theory. It might be wrong, but there you go. Right. What do you think? Uh, we do have a wise one, I think. Let me double check. He is a um, not man of the people. He's the weapons man, hanged man. Uh, persona. We have a hanged man. It's the amulet. It's the amulet. So let's go. Yeah, I think we're good. Uh, all the way over to the airshaft. Airsoft shop. Hello. Oh, it's freezing. It's been really cold lately, but I gotta be careful of dust and humidity. Static electricity is the enemy of detail work, so I gotta keep an eye out for it. You hear because you saw my message, right? Yeah, uh, I want to work. Remember what I said? Let's go. Time for you to do some work around the shop, Mr. Gun Enthusiast. Hey. So this is our ninth level one, so this is our romance option with him, right? Right? Yeah, Un unfortunately not, but you know. Th th if it was, I'm, I'm not saying that I would say yes, but the, the theme song is pretty good. Be careful with this gun. If anyone's interested in buying it, let me know right away. This thing's an antique. I'm not gonna sell to anyone less than a real gun expert. Oh, and about Suda. I heard he got excommunicated from the clan. Apparently his boss found out what happened. Serves him right, huh? Hmm. I feel bad for him. Sheesh. Look, kid. Life's gonna be real tough if you're too soft, you hear? This whole thing's been real crazy, though. I mean, Suda used to be the role model for upholding the code. I guess this is what he meant when he said times are changing. Hello? Oh, it's you. If you want to talk about Suda... Huh? Wait, what? The hell you doing? You motherfucker. That's strong language for this game. Hey, hold on. <sighs> Damn it. That bastard masses abducted Kaoru. Wait, what? Uh, will he be okay? He damn well better be, or else Massa's a dead man. God, that piece of shit. He knew about Suda's failure the whole time. Bet he was just waiting for a chance like this. Hmm. We should hurry. Brad, they're over at Seaside Park. I'll grab the keys and lock up. Shit. Come on, let's go. Didn't see this coming. Hey. Let her go. Take it easy, Muni san All I did was give him a friendly ride home from cram school. Ain't that right, Kaoru-kun? 
Dad, I'm sorry. He said he had some stuff to tell me about you. Then he... <clears throat> oh. Man, ain't he just a great kid? Hmm. What's your goal here, Massa? And what are you? Mune is San's little errand boy? Wait, I remember you. You're that weirdo from the diner. Hey! I said, let Kaoru go. Fuck off, I heard you the first time. So, uh, what are you gonna make me do? Great question! You know those modded guns you were gonna give to Suda? It'd be real nice to get my hands on them. There's a lieutenant spot open now that Suda's gone, but I still need to prove my worth before I can get it. And you're gonna help me do just that. <laughs> Sorry, Massa, but you got some real shitty timing. Just broke them all down. There's uh, nothing left. You think that's gonna dissuade me? You know, I know everything about Kaoru kun's situation. <laughs> what? My situation? Dad, what does he mean? Don't you remember what I told you in the car, Kaoru-kun? About your dad? About what he thinks of you? Uh, right. I'm just a burden, aren't I? That's it, isn't it? Tell me, Dad. I can handle the truth. <sighs> that ain't true. I'm trying to protect you, Kaoru. Hey, this is f this family bullshit is real touching and all, but we're supposed to be negotiating here, remember? Why don't we start with a delivery date? The sooner the better in my book. Shit. God damn it. Oh, don't give me that shit. None of this would be happening if you didn't go and take that brat in. I knew it. Everything really is my fault. Oh. You need to trust your son. Alpex. Hey, what are you two chatting about over there? Yo. Kaoru, listen. There's something I've been keeping from you for a while now, and you're probably not gonna like it. Truth is, your uh, real parents didn't die in a car crash. <sighs> you were abandoned by your mother when you were still a baby. That's why I took you in. Believe it or not, I was actually part of the Yakuza back then. Huh? Oh man, I can't believe you finally freaking told him, Munisan. He's not lying, Kurukun. Well, I heard your mom tried to sell you to us just so she could get her hands on some easy drug money. Sell me? Yup. Then, when Munisan here wasn't buying, she just dumped you and ran. That's how you ended up with a Yakuza dad. Pretty crazy, huh? Ha, <laughs> that's a relief. I've been trying to hold that in all day long. I couldn't wait to say the loop on your face when you found out. Man, this is hilarious. Boo freaking who? How sad. <laughs> Enough. All of that might be true, but it's in the past now. I'm not a child anymore, and never let a stupid secret like that get to me. Huh? So what if my mom dumped me, or if my dad was part of the Yakuza? We might not be related by blood, but we're connected by the Gecko. By the... What now? So... So you know what? I don't care what you have to say about us. It's me, and Munihishi Iwaya is, is my dad. I'm me. <sighs> That's what he said. Huh. <laughs> Atta boy, Kuru. Listen, Massa. Let's put an end to this right here, right now. We can start fresh. You seriously don't get it, do you? Ku Kahuru kuns. No, Massa. You're the one who doesn't get it. You've really fucked up this time. Oh? Suda? <laughs> Suda, I mean, sir. Don't give me that. I know you rat me out to the boss. You never have been good at keeping your mouth shut. No, it wasn't me. Uh-huh. And what do you think you're doing waving that knife around, huh? Uh, I'm sorry. Your kid's got guts, Mune. Like father, like son, huh? Yo. 
looks like it. So, now what? Uh, well, let's start by making this idiot repay his debts. I haven't thought much about what comes after. All I really know is, this is where we say goodbye, Mune. <clears throat> Take care, brother. Let's go. <sighs> Are you okay, Kuru? Yeah, I was a little afraid, but it's all better now. Honestly, I'm surprised you stayed calm through all that. I guess you're maturing quicker than I even realized. Hmm. What are we gonna say? Ooh, I don't think he's a... But do you like he's a cool kid, huh? Um... He's very practical. I don't think he wants self-praise. I think he wants this one. I think he wants us to praise his son. Kaoru is really strong-willed. <sighs> yeah, sure is. I never would have been able to say all that shit he did. Uh, you know, I've been so busy making sure he didn't end up like me that I forgot that to see who he's actually becoming. Yeah, I can't believe I'm only just realizing this now. <laughs> appreciate it. And it's all thanks to you, kid. I appreciate it. For real. Feels like my bond with Hawaii is growing even deeper. Hawaii's um, thing is all full of twists non stop. It's like people pulling guns out at each other, threatening to kill each other, people being taken hostage. Everyone else is just like, you know, I've got a calm day. I'm gonna go and do a modeling job. His is like life or death in every single circumstance. It's just completely different stakes. All right. Hey, all that excitement made me super hungry. Why don't we go back to that diner? <laughs> uh, you're seriously on a whole nother level. Might even end up taller than me someday. Let's go. Come on, let's head over there. Let's go. <laughs> the three of us enjoyed a peaceful dinner together. Yo, it's me. Sorry for that whole mess back there. I'm glad Kuru is safe and all, but man, he ended up with a hell of an appetite after that. Sure was something. Connected by the gecko, huh? That kid must have grown into a man while it wasn't looking. Um, well... Like father, like son. And now, uh, I'm not worthy of a son like him. You didn't get any of that integrity from me, that's for sure. <laughs> Ugh. After going to eat, going out to eat with you guys, I can barely move. Too stuffed. But somehow it's the best feeling in the whole damn world. Thanks, Alpax. You did some great work. Huh. <laughs> you want me saying all this sappy shit? Downright embarrassing. I gotta get some air. Good. Cool down a little. Alright, later. See, I told you it was the romance option. He's got to get, he's got to cool down. He's, it's getting too heated. Anyway, it's Monday. Ooh, interesting new scene. The elections this weekend. Mr. Shido's momentum isn't slowing down at all. Did he fall ill because of the fant of that Phantom Thieves incident? People are making some noise about it, but it won't matter. It's almost scary how popular he is. Alright, it's morning. The election's at the end of the week, right? Well, Shido's gonna win anyway. Uh, kids these Not days. that I asked for your opinion on the election. Well, no matter what the cause was, this election is heading in the right direction. Before we knew it, Shido had everyone in the palm of his hand. Deceiving people so well that they don't even realize it. Just how influential is Shido? Reasonably, I would say. Given the evidence we have. Well then. Only thing left to do is wait for the outcome. Well, you all will say that. You'd like me to go to Mementos. Are you crazy? I don't need to go to Mementos. Right. 
Let's see who we got. So obviously the only person du available during the day is not available. Okay, uh, therefore the correct move is to go to the shrine and push up Hawaii because he's the only person who we cannot confirm is full rank, right? I will put in a thousand yen. Yeah, because we, we just can't confuse, uh, we can't confirm what rank he is right now. So I'm going to think about him. We do our clapping. Get our two points. Nice. I suspect he's full rank, but I want to check. All right. Ah, you're back. Yo. Another box came for us. Okay, cool. That's our aromas and our oils. Wonderful. All right. Okay. The day of my exhibition match is finally here. Do you have time today? I'd like to see you beforehand. Ooh. Now that is actually a romance one. <gasps> Another crossword? Hey, hey. We've had so many. Oh, well, I have to. I have to. 29. Laying into someone. Uh... I don't know what it's looking for, but let's see what else we got. Related to two words. Nope. Health exam. Uh, a health exam would be a physical? Yeah. Okay. So we got physical related to words. Uh, I was kind of thinking literary, but that's too long. That's, that's not really related to words, though. Something that's just related to words. Do I have a lot of things? Hear me out, I just saw a word. Nope, I was thinking verbs. I just saw the letters and was like, it was, that's possible, but it's not really what it's looking for. But I was just like, as I saw it while I'm looking around. We don't have a, okay. I'm just trying to see what other things are popping out at me. I was like, vowels, we don't have a W. What other things are relating to words? If something is relating to a word, it is. No idea. If you're laying into someone, you are. I mean, if you're laying into them, you're. Do we have an NG? We do have an NG. So you're something them. Okay. Uh. So we have. Bear. Nope. Hear. It's not hearing. That's just wrong. Um, seer. I'm just going through words. Soar. No, that doesn't really work. Uh, sh sharing. That's, that doesn't really seem like the right word. That seems like that's not really going to work. Shaving. Again, don't really think that shaving is really the word we're looking for here. Um... I don't know. I don't know. I, I, th this relating to words one bothers me because I'm like, surely there must be a way to work that one out. Uh, just from first principles here. Hmm. I can't help but feel the S and the H have to be next to each other, right? Because it just makes sense, right? If you have both of them, it kind of fits very nicely in terms of what letters we have left. I think that one of the B's has to be taken out. So if the, one of the B's is taken out, you're using an using an S and an H. It could be sure. That's not a word that's going to fit. Shove. Shove. I don't, I don't like it. That doesn't seem right. No, I don't like it at all. I was tell I I'm saying that it's it's not a good one. You know what? I, I think I might have given up. Yeah, yeah, I I'm not sure. I don't even know like I think physical is right. I, I just I'm very uncertain as to the other one. So it's crossword number twenty nine. How many crosswords are there? I guess I'll figure that out in a second. Uh, there are 34 crosswords. 
Oh, okay. We got plenty left to go, to go then. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes, I can see this. So actually both Bs are used. So this one is verbal, which isn't entirely relating to words, but I kind of see where they were going with this. Crosswords are hard to make up. And then laying into someone would be bashing them, which fits about as well as shoving in my world, but was in shoving was incorrect. Anyway, that's fine. Originally meaning hitting or striking, the term also, uh, now also means severely criticizing a person or group, either directly or behind their backs. In Japanese restaurant slang, bashing also means clearing the dishes on a table, similar to how striking the set in English means cleaning up a filming location. All right, oh. nice. Okay. From the sounds of it, that was one that made a lot more sense in Japanese. Just, just based upon the uh, trivia we got from that. Anyway. Why did you hang those corpses from the telephone poles and TV antennas? Oh, yeah, that sounds familiar. Because the world sucks, I guess. You kill them all for a reason like that? You, don't you have any remorse? Hey, hey. Whoa, scary. This detective gets all crazy when he's mad. Yeah, I was told that the Zembra ones were filled with references. It's not wrong. That might be referencing another Persona game. Can possibly tell you. Um, yes, so we have an up with Hifumi. So I think we're gonna go here. The only person we can't confirm is Hawaii, so therefore we have to spend time with him. But what's happening here? You actually think you can be a real singer? Listen up, we might call you a talent, but that doesn't mean shit. Now get back to work before you lose the guy. Next time you cross me, I'll end you. Why are you being so mean? I've been doing my best to debut as a singer. I think we had that one before, but maybe it reset because he's the guy in Mementos. Right, I would like a fortune reading. I mean, th again, as I said, this, all this costs us is 5,000 uh, yen, so yeah, we might as well do it. Also, I love that like one episode ago, I was like, we missed one. It's so suboptimal. How could we possibly live? And then now I'm like, it doesn't matter at all. Here we go. Just based on one day's difference. It's, it's weird, like, cause, like, from this point on, we really don't need the things what anymore, but we really needed it on the one where we did it. So we only, like, we missed the last one that mattered, basically. Before I leave Evalva Room, because I would be my, so we got Star, let's see, uh, Star. Cool. Let's head over here. Hello, Hifumi. Good evening. Imijin knows no standard moves. There are no set principles for victory. You must always seek to make the best move possible. Please continue to do what you believe is right. I did what I could to prepare for the exhibition match. And so, oh, do you have some time? I'm feeling a bit anxious. Yeah, okay. Let's spend some time with her. Thank you. After I confessed, I was scorned by the media. I bet everyone wants me to lose. However, I'm not going to give them the satisfaction. I'm going to win with these very hands. Hmm. You can do it. That's... We shall see. Oh, but I'll do my very best. Well, it's time. I have to go to the venue. You won't be able to go inside the match room, but you can watch over the internet if you'd like. All right. Now, I should be going. Okay, we'll watch over the internet on our phone in the same building. It's an online broadcast of the match. The announcers are commentating on the gameplay. Also, I don't know if we've ever been to this location before, which is kind of odd. I'm trying to think if this is the time we've been here. I mean, it looks a little bit like the buffet room, but not quite. Maybe it is, yeah, maybe it's the buffet room, but it, they've changed the camera angle and they've removed some people. Is this the end of the road for the phony princess? She's getting pushed back quite a bit. It's only a matter of time now. If Fumi is biting her lip, she doesn't seem to be doing so well. Now that was a masterful play. Perhaps her skills are the genuine article. Oh no, that's not good. 
the next move will surely result in checkmate. Ifumi looks troubled as she's being pushed around the board. She hasn't made a move. I'm thinking phony princess real defeat is the headline for our next article. I concede. Oh no! I was utterly destroyed out there. It was as if an ant had challenged an elephant. A shogi player should know her limits. It was the first time I've ever forfeited a match. I was just so ashamed of myself. I didn't want to hurt the pieces any longer. Hmm, how are we going to throw in here? I don't think she wants a yo win next time. Good on you, champ. Yo, 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 get him. No, I don't think that's what we're after. It was a good effort. Again, I don't think she wants... That's kind of like the same thing. I think she wants this one. A very queenly decision. You remembered. One must concede defeat with grace, maintaining dignity until the very end, as a queen should. But I confess I am confused. I mean, I naturally I am disappointed that I lost. But I still feel happy, as if a demon has been purged from me. The moment I realized that victory was impossible, I felt a strange peace. What's important is what I do from this point on. I played so disgracefully in front of you. Perhaps you can just view it as an example of what not to do. <laughs> and understand there are times which require one to forfeit with valor and grace. I feel Hifumi's trust in me growing. And that was a reference to the ability we just got. Uh, Toriyu. Um, decreases turn delay to zero, allowing you to instantly escape battle. Which is All interesting. Right. Not useful, but interesting. Might be useful if one of the palaces has a gimmick and we want to avoid fights, but generally in P5 you want to take all the fights offered to you, at least outside of Mementos, because palaces tend to be designed that like you will do the fights and then you will do the boss. And the fights tend to like let you in on things that might happen later on, like it reuses some mechanics, it introduces things with weaker enemies, shows you with later ones, so... Unlike an earlier Persona game, where it's just constantly having you with, you know, infinitely respawning enemies and procedurally generated dungeons, this one is like designed pa uh, dungeons for you to go through. So it feels a little bit different. Yeah. Like, if I'd got this ability in P4, that would be a lot more interesting because a lot of the time you don't really care. You just want to go like, is this the enemy I'm looking to grind the item off of? Not really? All right, let's let's instantly escape. Anyway. Um, I've been thinking about this for a while. Let's make today your last lesson. Spending time with me has only brought you pain. If Fumi is thinking hard, I should be careful about what I say here. So this is goodbye. What was interesting is that that said, I should be careful what I say here, but it didn't say because I'm already in a relationship with another person. So does that mean there is no relationship with Ifumi, or does that mean that the text wasn't there, or does this mean that one of these is the correct answer? I'm going to say I want to become stronger. The things you say sometimes. Perhaps I should take a lesson from that ambitious nature of yours. <laughs> If that is what you wish, then prepare yourself. Your training will be quite intensive. There may be things I can learn from you as well. I suppose this is a friendly rivalry for both of us, as irreplaceable shogi friends. Let's go home. Okay, I think I chose the correct answer. Maybe? Thank you so much for today. I've been thinking this entire time about how things would have been if I'd kept playing Shogi according to my mother's strategy. I could have enjoyed a transient, empty success, but when I looked two, three moves ahead, I saw myself in incessant hell playing a purgatorial fit, uh, fearic, uh, Shogi, unable to win or lose. I probably would have ended up hating Shogi, perhaps even given up on life. That's why I can say with certainty Today's loss was not a setback, but a glorious step forward. 
That's a great way to see it. Thank you. It is so encouraging to have someone who truly understands me. I'm so happy. Alright, I should go, but I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Okay, I have another theory. Hifumi is one of the few people who is truly optional in the game. If that makes sense. Also, it's raining today when apparently confidants are less likely to come out when it's raining, which is a problem. But yeah, um, she's one of the few truly optional confidants, right? Because she's only barely mentioned once by Ryuji in a text message. And it's like, there's somebody off in a church somewhere. Go find them, right? So maybe it doesn't warn you about already being in a relationship with another girl because... It's in, like she wouldn't. It wouldn't run into an issue continuity-wise. Like they would never interact. Therefore, you're not going to run into an issue. Well, it might become a problem with someone like, say, Takami, who isn't really as optional because it directly pushes you in her face. It's like there would be an interaction. Therefore, there could be an issue. I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. Anyway. Um. But on the other hand, there just might not be a relationship and she rejects you. It seems possible. With Mr. Shido's new party, the United Future, in the lead, the so-called preennial uh, pre uh, candidates are putting more effort into their speeches. In Shibuya, one candidate held up a sign while speaking passionately to the crowd. <sighs> I'm amazed they still do that when they've got no chance. Hey, wait, haven't we seen that guy before? Ah, right. You know, it's a problem when I'm having trouble with the English words. That, that shouldn't be the issue. Aha! Shinya is available! Right. Um, so, Shinya is available. What is Shinya? Shinya, apart from being uh, a child compared to us, is Tower. I mean, he's also a child compared to many people. We have two Towers available. Fantastic. Let's go see him. There's nothing else that we need to do. Yep, let's go. We could have gone straight to the arcade, but I want to just have a look oh, outside please. first, see if we got anything new going on. We don't because it's raining and nobody's around when it's raining. Okay. Hey, maybe there's a new thing for our... No, it's still the sheep. Hello. It's raining out. This place gets crowded when it rains. I guess they didn't have anywhere else to go. You and I both have to get stronger, and to do that, we got to practice. So let's train hard today. Let's go. <laughs> All right, we have uh, we'll have a thorough training session today. All right. You ready? The games are on me today. Just be sure to keep up. Uh, do you have enough? Don't worry. I have a lot of money on me today. Why? Now, Let's get to it. Get into your stance. Come on, man. No, you gotta no, aim. too, too slow. Shinya is playing erratically. Hey, give him his money back. Hmm. What the? Just ignore them. Oda, you took his lunch money, didn't you? Oh, is he taking the lunch money off the younger children? That's not on. He forced you into a battle, right? Yeah. When I lost, he told me I owed him money. Who do you think you are? The king. Huh? Wrong. I didn't take it, I earned it. That money is for my war fund to help me get stronger. The hell does that mean? You're crazy, just like your mom. I heard your mom was being weird at the restaurant the other day. The waiter caught her leaving without paying, and she said that she just forgot. She even snapped at the manager and told him his employees need to be better trained. Uh, sh shut up. My mom says that your mom is a bully, and you're just like her. You bastard! Shut up, shut up, shut up. I'm the strongest, the best, the king. If you want your money back, you'll have to beat me. He's not making any sense. Somehow, some way, you're gonna pay us back. The only thing you're good at is playing games. 
Ugh. Huh? You're just like the bad guy in a movie. I hope the Phantom Thieves get you. No way. A bad guy? Me? Really? Even though I'm strong? We might have to change his heart at this point. It, it sounds like a distorted desire. Now, you know, he is just a child and he does just, you know, he's just got a misunderstanding of the world and misappropriated, uh, you know, um, priorities. But at the same time, like, you know, uh, maybe he's in mementos, he's free game. We can just target him. Just saying. Huh. I'm not a bad guy, am I? You're acting like one. No, I'm not. I mean, I won. I got stronger. Just like the Phantom Thieves did. So how am I the bad guy? Huh. I guess I, I already knew that. I felt bad, even when I was winning. I won't do it again. I don't want to be a bad guy. I believe in you. Yeah. Thanks. Hey. Um, do you hate me now? I'm worried about you. No way. Sorry, I promise I won't do that again. I guess he wanted a straight answer, just like a straight up, no, I don't hate you. Okay. So please don't hate me. The Phantom Thieves are strong because they defeat strong enemies, right? Beating up on weak opponents, that's bullying. That's what bad guys do. No, that's grinding, and that's a perfectly acceptable way to get stronger if you're the Phantom Thieves. Although grinding on small children is not the correct thing to do, and phrasing. I was wrong. Thanks, Zaplasan. I wouldn't have realized this on my own. I feel Shinya's brotherly affection. Oh, really? Okay. Cheap shot allows you to use down shot three times per infiltration. All right. Cool. I don't think I've ever used down shot. Maybe? Anyway, I'm gonna head home now. I need to think about what I did. Cool. Kindness has increased. Bye. Well, see you later, Shinya. I'm so glad you picked up. Hey, Zaplasan, where did I go wrong? It was probably when you, um... Yeah, probably when you threatened those small children for their lunch money. That would probably be about the point. I just wanted to be strong like the Phantom Thieves, but I somehow turned into a bad guy without even noticing. The more I thought about everything, the more scared I got. Zaplasan, are you sure you, uh, you aren't going to hate me? Hmm. I, I didn't see the brother thing coming, but I'm your big brother, right? Oh, yeah, you are. <laughs> I won't make the same mistake ever again. Trust me, big brother. Okay, so he doesn't like the big brother talk. I mean, to be honest, I wasn't a huge fan of it myself, so at least we're on the same wavelength. Phew, I feel a little better after talking to you. Thanks, Zapla. I don't know what I'd do without you. Okay, I'm gonna hang up now. See you at the arcade. Alright. See you later. Shinya? Ah, you're back. Oh, another text message. It's insane how popular Shido is. Unless he confesses, there's no way this is gonna change. They just believe everything Shido spoon feeds them. In that case, it wasn't a mistake for us to change his heart. I mean, we made the best possible choice, didn't we? Assuming the change of heart is successful. Indeed, there was truly no better way to go about it. Still, the current state of things is somewhat concerning. Hmm. Let's have faith. It sucks real bad that we can't do anything more than that. I guess there's nothing we can really do until election day. Hmm. Alright. Uh, yes, time for you two to leave. Uh, we've already seen that TV one for today. Uh, I think. Anyway. Nobody is available. Wait, who would even be available right now? It would be Owahi or it would be Hifumi. Both of which are not available. 
let me head to Ki Kichi Joji. Uh, let's see if the twins are available. The twins are available. Uh, we'll double check that the person isn't looking for us to get bring him anything right now. Oh, he is. Perfect. Do you like sweets, my man? Yeah, but I've been told not to take candy from strangers. I was hoping you could get me the famous angel tart this time. Sorry, I have no idea where to. F I don't I have no idea where to find it. Sorry, I don't have much info at all. I have this fervent bat to trade you. Thanks in advance. Oh. Okay. Um. Well, let's just test out a few places. So you don't have anything. You only sell the katsu. You probably don't sell tart. Hi there. Uh. Yeah. No. That's fine. Uh, unless it's in a vending machine, which it has been in the past. Thank you for stopping in. Okay, you don't sell it. Okay. Uh, nobody else here is going to sell it. I'm just going to check around a few places. You know, just while we're here. Uh, it's unlikely that this one is also sold by, um, by the grocery store near us. Thanks, Ma. You see the Phantom Thieves come back? The way they don't back down, that's the spirit of rock. I owe it all to Ma for telling me I wasn't being rock and roll. Oh, that's not what she meant? I guess it doesn't matter now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, so up here we have this place. Now this place, I think, is like number one. It's a bakery. Where Thank else are you, you gonna buy it. Angel Tart? Don't be stupid, you you idiot. You wouldn't buy Angel Tart at the bakery. You'd buy it at the vending machine. No, but there is something new at the vending machine, which is weird. It means I never checked that vending machine during our vending machine check. Oh yeah, there's the chunky stuff from a vending machine as well there. I still don't think that's right. Chunky stuff. From, like drinking something that's chunky. I mean, just... The concept does not sound appealing. Uh, so this is another shop we can go to. Welcome. There's the angel tart. Cool. Revives one fallen ally to full HP. That's really good. Okay. I mean, we can buy that from Takumi, but I think it's cheaper there. Anyway, back up to Kichijoji. I'm surprised we found it so quickly, but really, there aren't that many places it could have been, because it couldn't have been the same place as last time, because that would have just not been... Uh, that's just an odd design for, like, a treasure hunt to have it be in the same location. You're here. That means you must have been successful in your procurement, right? Would you like to trade your angel tar for this fervent bat? Yeah, let's trade. Much obliged. Please take this fervent bat. So this is the angel tar, eh? Uh, it's quite aptly named. Just looking at it, I can tell it has a delicate taste. Thank you. My client will be overjoyed. I look forward to our next trade. Okay. Oh, we got some mumble mumbles. Hmm? I just thought it was my job to be efficient as a responsible member of society too. As long as I did that, I could do what I wanted, how I wanted, no worrying about what other people think. I had no idea my boss had been covering for me to the CEO this whole time. Interesting. Was that related to one of the things we did in Mementos? I'm not sure. I don't think it was. Anyway. Um, one too far. Uh, Ryuji? How do you feel? Is this fervent bat better? No, I mean, it does do more damage, and it has a burn on it, but how often do we attack on Ryuji? I mean, to be fair, on Ryuji, how often do we use any ability that isn't the one that he has from the item? Very, um, rarely right now. But you know what? If we get a fight that actually has weaknesses and things, much more likely to do that. Hello. What are you gonna do today? No. Listen closely. The place we wish to evaluate for rehabilitation is a present-day Tower of Babel. What? It looms high in the heavens, so high that humans down below on Earth are no longer even visible to the naked eye. Oh, is that Tokyo Tower? Is that what it's called? Such a grand structure would be far too dangerous for humans. We find that we have a duty to investigate. Does this location sound at all familiar to you? Well, if you know where it is, then escort us there immediately. Could be the sky tree in Asakusa? Do. Yeah, the Sky Tree. <laughs> so it's named the Sky Tree, huh? That's pretty impressive sounding. It's no Tower of Babel, but still quite fine. Onward, yes, the boldness of the moniker is quite promising. Take us there at once. Whoa, it's 
crazy out there. So this is the present day Tower of Babel? Incredible. It appears we've underestimated the current extent of human technology. And the metal box that took us here. My ears were so tortured by its sounds, I thought I would faint. But as a trial for reaching this place, it was mere child's play. <laughs> oh my! What could that tiny thing in the sky be? An aeroplane? They truly do appear to be quite cramped inside. This is quite the view. It almost appears as if we could crush the people below like insects. Justine! Oh, Justine! Look at that! As loud as ever. What is it? How could this happen? There's a hole in the floor. Is it some kind of trap? Um, no, it's safe. What was that? Safe? How? There is a hole in the floor. Oh, is it there like a glass floor so that you can stand on it and look down and go, Oh my god, I don't like this feeling whatsoever. Hold on to the railing and panic until somebody eventually comes around to peel you off of it and slowly take you down the stairs, slowly comforting you as you go. Something like that. Does this trap lure overly confident passers-by into falling to their doom? We cannot discount the possibility. By the way, inmate, I've heard this Tower of Babel has a path that leads even higher than we are now, all the way to the heavens. Really? What? Is that true? Take us there immediately! Well, it doesn't reach all the way to the heavens, but the view is still rather impressive. Yes, we can see well past the city from here, almost to the ends of the earth. However... Carolyn, are you attempting to back out of this? What? What do you mean by that? Why would I suddenly get scared after already coming so close? Ah, I see. Then why not go even closer and enjoy the view? Are you joking? What? Cut it out! If you want to look so badly, then go, do it! Don't mind if I do. Hey, are those kids okay? Where are their parents? Aw, uh, they're just playing around, see? That guy's chaperoning them. Hey, inmate! Great, now we're part of some humiliating misunderstanding, all because you were making such a scene, inmate. What a burden. You are the one who should feel humiliated. What a great view, though. I see how looking down from here could make a person feel like a god. Hmm. Human desire really knows no bounds, does it? <laughs> yes, it's no wonder their hearts grow twisted when they're living in a city frothing with so much desire. Well, we've learned the secret of this Tower of Babel, so we'll consider this assignment complete. Here is your reward. Paracousia? Yeah, you, you can put a mat at the front of that so we had an AoE. No? Again? I'm looking for the same thing. Again? Mm. All of those are just outclassed at our current level, but that's okay. You better keep up this progress, inmate. Now, now you will return. return us for now you will accompany us for our return. I escorted the twins back to the velvet room. It's Wednesday. Uh, the new Shido administration will pull us out of this recession and renew our economy. Sorry, the exhausted professor. I get that as a description. Ha what does handsome professor even mean? Like, just from, we can hear him and we're like, you know what, that's a handsome voice. You know, that 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 is a handsome professor. Anyway, it just seems like an odd one for like, a written only thing to say. I suppose, yeah, anyway, whatever. Um, he's really the only option we have. I really hope he can succeed and not succumb to that slander. This election may very well be a historical turning point for this nation. Uh, we should feel lucky to be able to witness such a historic event. I should have known. The support for Shido is as strong as ever. I'm astounded he was able to deceive this many people. Madarami was a shrewd con artist, but Shido is on an entirely different level. But soon the charade will all come to a halt. But the charade will all come to a halt soon. Once he unveils the truth, 
the good people of Tokyo will rally together against this tyrant. Until then, I must be patient. I it sounded a little bit naive there that there's a good uh, people of Tokyo who are going to riot against them, but we'll see. It's after school. Anything downstairs? No crossword. Is that a game show? Nope. We're bringing you today's Discovery Town Detectives all the way from Yaso Inaba. The Amagi Inn has a long history famed for its delicious food and relaxing hot springs. I must say, the young proprietress is quite the beauty. It's worth going just to see her. Ha 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 ha. I also believe that young proprietress um, maybe shares this. Now you see, this is going back like at least a hundred episodes when I was given this uh, bit of trivia. Shares the same voice actor as Oya, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Uh, yes, we've heard this one before as well. Goodbye, everybody. Who is available right now? Not Shinya. Okay, if Shinya isn't available, then what do we do with our time? We go to the shrine. It's a sim it's a simple thing. We go to the shrine. Uh, we, pay we pray for strong bonds. Ah, with who though? With who? I think we're maxed with Hawaii. Hifumi? Yeah. Let's go for Hifumi. I don't know if that's right, but we should. Oh, we should also check what Hifumi's ability is, because I was told it was really good at 10. So let's check. Uh, you're Were back. they not just here for the afternoon tea? Anyway, those who don't choose Shido are on Japanese. What are you saying? Those are comments I've heard throughout the city. It's like that online too. Everyone's saying the same thing. That doesn't make any sense. The you, uh, the enthusiasm of the public has metamorphosized into blind faith. It may have been a blessing in disguise that not much is known about your suicide report. Hmm. Why do you say that? The larger a news story becomes, the more likely it is that people will search for new information. Who knows what they would have done to Alpat's Kun if they realized he was still alive. At this point, even the slightest stimulation could could be a huge problem. The country's like a big balloon that has way too much uh, air inside. This shit's crazy. Everyone's completely lost it. It's almost like they're worshipping Shido at this point. It's quite eerie. Makoto's right. I have a bad feeling about all of this. You're especially in danger. Be careful. Okay, I'm careful. I'm always careful. Yeah, so these two were here during the afternoon. They left and they came back for their uh, dinner. All right. I'm unsatisfied. I feel somewhat unsatisfied playing my own. Since I'm at the church, may I ask you for a match? So did I not push up Hifumi's one just then? I think I did, didn't I? And we still don't have a rank up. All right, well, I'm going to head here and just to see whether we get a rank up with her. Hmm. I was also told I may have missed her gift and Shinya's gift. Like, we may already be locked out of them. As in the gifts that can decorate your room. So, oh well. Pretty much is all I have to say to that one. Whatever. I assume we had to do them before we uh, put on the hood. Uh, right. Let's do this. I will have the fortune read. Here we go. So, what are we at? Are we getting it? Yes! Alright, so we have a rank 10. Okay. What is her rank 10, out of curiosity? Her rank 10 is... The Togo system. Allows you to swap current party members with backup members during anyone's turn? That is mind-blowingly good. So instead of it having to come around to our turn every single time, we could be switching out whenever. That is, that is huge. Yeah, like in that, I'm just thinking back to the Shido fight. Oh, also, the Christmas decorations are up. Completely missed that. But um, back to the Shido fight, right? There were so many turns where we had like Makoto doing nothing. Or, well, I mean in the end, what we, the, the, 
what we found out at the end with um, Ahn and Ryuji, just spamming those two together non-stop was the right strategy. But before we'd worked that out, we had so many turns where like Makoto would have nothing to do and we want to switch out Haru and we'd be like, okay, well it has to go all the way back around to us. We then waste our turn and Makoto wastes another turn. It's like, well we could have just used hers to bring someone in and out. So yeah, it's interesting. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching and next time, well, I guess we're going to go get rank 10 with Ifumi and hopefully away. Get another couple ranks on Shinya and then, well, we get to find out what happens. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.